are the huge movie fanatics here to witness the resurrection, which was the tagline to this one, which was such a great tagline. Oh, that was the tagline? That was the tagline, witness the resurrection, which I was like, little kid me seeing that in the theater oh, was yeah. like, oh, goody. oh my god, it's back! And, uh, <laughs> And Sigourney Weaver's back in it and everything, and I was so excited, and when I'd seen Alien 3, I was so displeased that uh, Ripley died, I'm like, oh, there's definitely going to be an Alien 4. How are they going to do it? It's one of two things. It's either a dream, yeah, right. or she's going to be a clone, and they're going to find blood of hers on Fiona, and that literally there's a line in the movie, we found uh, uh, blood evidence of, uh, uh, from Fiona 1, uh, 161 that we cloned, and I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. So well, kind that's... of like how I, as a kid, wrote the <laughs> yeah. sequel to the third one. Yeah. I wrote the sequel to the fourth. Yeah, I probably would have gone a little bit of a different direction with that movie. Though. Probably a better. Um, one. Here's the thing with Alien Resurrection, which is the exact opposite thing that was the problem with Alien Three. Alien Three had a, an abysmal script with such a competent, great director behind it that he tried what he could, but he couldn't put out the thing that it needed to be. This one is the opposite. The script I actually think isn't too bad. I kind of like the witty, snarky remarks. They're performed horribly, uh, mind you, but I like the, the sort of the, uh, the bitter humor, that, uh, the dark humor that's throughout the movie. I think it, it has some great characterizations, especially with Ripley and Call. Uh, and so you have like this fairly good script, and you have a, a director who'd never seen an alien movie when he was hired, uh, which uh, you can, his name is slipping me right at the moment. He's French. Yeah, French director of Amelie and Delicatessen. Delicatessen's a great movie, you should see it. This, unfortunately, is not a great movie, and you probably shouldn't see it, uh, unless you are a hardcore fan, and even then. Um, but Alien Resurrection, he just, his way of making it, making his mark on it was apparently, let's just put ooze on everything. For some reason, the alien in this movie is so goopy that I started to feel like uncomfortable. Like, I was like, I need a shower after watching that. Like, it's just non-stop dripping goo. Yeah. And you don't see that really in the other ones. Like, it's, it's gooey in the other ones, but yeah. it's not gross gooey. Um, and, <laughs> like, he just, he didn't really know how to shoot it. Uh, and he changed a little, I've read the original script. He changed elements of the script. He eliminated characters uh, pointlessly. And gave them to other, gave those lines to other characters, and so some of the characters seem like they have dual personalities because they're two separate characters. Like some guy says, "God, I have my monthly." <laughs> yeah, <pretty much. laughs> but I never understood that. It's it's really unfortunate, and I know that the writer of the movie, uh, Joss Whedon, who I mentioned uh, in the Aliens review, uh, talking about Aliens, he hates this movie. He thinks it's the worst of the bunch. He just he won't even watch well, it. And he, like on his show of. Both Buffy and Angel, he names drop, name drops the movies, and he uh, he bitch slaps Alien Resurrection in both, <laughs> which is kind of nice. But he's willing to do that, and uh, uh, so um, there's that. But I will say, what works, the the stuff that works, nothing cinematically really works with this movie uh, in terms of visual look or style or anything like that. What does work is the characterization, and uh, uh, which I've already mentioned, of Ripley. The idea of uh, blending her with the alien, nah. that was kind of neat. And that was one thing I really liked. That wasn't the Ripley that we're familiar with, but at the same time it kind of is. Mm -hmm. I thought that was neat. And then you have Call, who's the traditional Ripley-like character, uh, which was also kind of neat. And then you have Ripley, who doesn't know who she is and she's trying to discover herself. And you have Call, who's this beautiful woman and really well played by uh, uh, Winona Ryder with terrible hairdo. Uh, but uh, really well played by Winona Ryder, who's saying that she's ugly, she can't stand herself. Which I thought was kind of a neat play on the uh, the tropes of like... Uh, Isn't Call not a robot? She, yeah, she is a robot. Oh. And that's why she hates herself. She oh. wants to be human. I haven't seen it for a while. <coughs> I thought that was kind of a neat aspect. Uh, so there, there are a lot of things that I did kind of like about the movie, um, and I like that the corporate stuff is still there, and that the corporate, uh, the Wayland Utoni got bought up by Walmart. If you watch the, uh, uh, so the uh, director's cut, I thought that was kind of a nice little clever joke, because <laughs> that's so true. That's totally what's going to happen. Our sp oh, military is going to be sponsored by Walmart well, in the I year think 2025. It is, yeah. Um,
So, I mean, there's a lot of little snarky things like that. But um, the writer for this movie hated it so much, he also has another sci-fi universe movie, uh, very famous for, uh, which was Firefly, the TV show, which then became Serenity. And you have a lot of the same kind of characterizations. There's no aliens in the movie or anything like that. But you can see that that is what Alien Resurrection probably was trying to be, that universe, sort of like the pirates in space kind of uh, dingy universe, which was an interesting way to do it, uh, that just was lost on the director who didn't know how to handle the situation. Mm -hmm. He didn't understand the humor because he was, he didn't, he didn't read uh, the English language as well as he read the French language. Oh. So I think that, uh, like, a lot of the humor is sort of lost in the movie, therefore the performances kind of lack. Uh, even though you have a lot of, I, I'm willing to say, like, great performer, performers across the board. Like, I really, really like Ron Perlman and uh, Dan Adea and um, uh, the uh, Brad Dwarf is in it, and he's oh, great. Oh gosh, I remember. Uh, <laughs> like, there's, there's great performers. The, this is, yet again, the Alien movies have great casts. Yeah. This one, the cast doesn't work, because you had somebody who just didn't know how to work with them. Um, and the, uh, the ones that do work really well are because they're really just flat out good actors. So Bernie Weaver could act in her sleep and just deliver a great performance, a memorable performance, she really does. Uh, and I like the idea of, uh, that her blood isn't quite acid, but it has enough acid in it because she's mixed with oh, that's it. That's right. Uh, I thought that was kind of a neat little touch. I think the best part of Alien Resurrection was, you know, is the, the, whoever came up with the idea that, okay, well, we got to clone her, it's the only way to bring her back. And whoever said, well, wait a sec, if they're cloning blood that, you know, she was impregnated with the alien at the time, well, wouldn't that stand the reason that we could make a mixture between the two yeah. the species? And I thought that that aspect was something that was completely unexpected and I thought it was, was a cool so idea. Yeah. And the, the creepy, which I actually have a hard time even watching the scene yeah. where she goes into that room because it, the, it's done so well, those, those yeah. versions of her, yeah. that... Um, and it's so realistic, and when it's, she goes into the room and sees the cloned attempts, and it like kill me, and then actually, I, I really, actually, I can't believe it, but it's true, I'm going to say it, and there's no shame. I actually feel really bad for the alien kind of child that she has yeah. when, it, when she's killing it, and I can't even watch, basically, I can't even watch that scene where it gets sucked out the hole. Yeah. It, it, I, you it can laugh so if sad. you want, but it, 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 it just kills me, it's, it's sad. Yeah. And they, they portray the alien, it's so stupid, but it's it's so realistic mm -hmm. as a child that doesn't understand what's going on. And it's so nasty. Yeah. How it's, it's all sucked out and the like the skull is left and then it gets pulled out. I, I can't even when I think about that, I just get Yeah. Uh, that's like one of the most disturbed movies don't disturb me very easily. Mm -hmm. That's probably the most disturbing visual that I can think of from a yeah. movie. Well, and as I say, like, a lot of that stuff stemmed from the, the, I think it actually is a fairly good screenplay. Like, having read the screenplay alone, it's actually not bad, and it has some great set pieces. I love, I love the basketball scene. Like, that was just kind of badass, where uh, John or Ron Perlman comes in and he's uh, harassing uh, women because that's what he does. He's the typical, like... Oh, it's male not about playing. So no, he does something with she, that. Can she's something. playing. She's just uh, like doing, getting used to her body, so they have her playing oh, basketball. Oh, oh, I can remember. And now. she's just shooting hoops, and he's coming there and hitting on her and slapping oh, her butt right. and all that stuff. That. And he, yeah, she's just toying with him, and she ends up uh, throwing the basketball, like beating the shit out of all of the uh, the crew of the and Betty. She's like, the and then she just walks away and throws the the ball. Over and yeah, it slam right. dunks, and it's like that was that was a cool scene. I yeah, remember, that was kind of badass. That. Yeah. The alien underwater stuff. Yeah. Had it not it been cool. done CG, uh, is a, is an awesome, like, awesome scene. Really, also gives you the claustrophobicness of that first movie without it even being dark. Yeah. Just being that it's underwater yeah, and you're like, because you you. I always find find myself doing it with them, just being like, can I last like five oh, yeah, minutes yeah. underwater? <gasps> and like. Then being attacked by shit too, like that's, that's <laughs> like that's underwater. Uh, no one can hear you scream. That's <laughs> a tagline for Jaws Five. <laughs> there you go. That'd be awesome. That'd be kind of deep. So but, star rating. I, it's it's so <laughs> poorly executed is the problem that I can't really recommend it, even though there is a lot to like 
within the movie, it, the execution is just so off that I'd give it two and a half, and I'm being really generous with that, but I'm, I'll give it two and a half. I'll go two. There's aspects that are cool about it. I like how some of the ships look, and sound design's pretty solid for that movie, especially on 5.1 Homes Around and stuff, but it's mostly for my money just kind of garbage, but there's aspects that I like. Unnecessary, that's what it is. Yeah, it's it's kind of the unnecessary sequel, and I'm glad that uh, they hadn't made another one with Sigourney. I think that's that's it. I think that's all we need. And it sort of ends unresolved. Like, yeah, I, mean, I think that I, I wish that three had been the end because I, to I me, that just, was just like the, it had the script played out the way that it probably should have. Had they gotten a director who understood yeah. the concept and was willing to make that movie the way it should have been made, I think the movie could have been quite good. Yeah. But being that they that the it was done so poorly uh, and executed so wrong that it I really do wish it didn't exist. Which one? Alien Resurrection. Yeah, I think you're right. For me, there's kind of three Alien movies in a way. Yeah, same and here. Even though I like this better than uh, a lot of ways, the first or the, th the third one, even though I recognize both of those are better movies. Like Alien Resurrection more than Alien. Oh my God. Anyway. I like. I mean, I'm still. his own. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like. Even still, I don't really consider it part of the series. I don't really. Yeah. I mean, I pretty much just watch Alien, like, the first two now. Anyway, yeah. So, I think we'll we'll uh, we'll leave it at that. Hopefully, under fifteen minutes. Yep. Yeah. Catch you later.